All right, it's Sauce God Reacts, and today we're going to be reacting to Kate Williams. Um, speaking on Martin Lawrence. All right, I've been hearing a lot of reaction. You know what? Kate Williams came what he had to do. He came up and started some controversy, man. It was just, I guess he was speaking from the heart, and his interview went viral. So... This is him speaking on Martin Williams and Big Mama House. Uh, probably, gonna, I probably have an idea what he's going to talk about. You know, probably then Martin Lawrence were wearing dresses or something, or something funny like that. But anyways, let's uh, listen to it. I've only heard bits and pieces of the interview. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch the whole thing yet. But I hopefully will do that. But anyways, let's uh, click play. Tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go. How did I know it was going to be about dress? How did I know? On his hiatus, he tell me, Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know we get in that office and this fool pull out. Big Mama's house, too. Mm -hmm. I almost died. And I gotta <laughs> read this script for all <laughs> these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he? You know what? That used to be a thing. That used to be a thing. Every single. There used to be a whole bunch of movies coming out with these guys, comedians. Get put in a dress. That was like like one person did it, and then now it became a trend. I think the biggest one was I think uh, with was with uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, yeah, and then after that, you seen a whole bunch of movies that guys in dresses, guys in dresses, guys in dresses. He in a dress again. You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Twice I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real niggas. And that's how I got in this position. I sure hope I have a uh, club Shay Shay after this year. <laughs> it's gonna be in a dimension that's never been. Yeah, it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a, <laughs> the greatest thing floating in twenty twenty four. Mark the words. No way. <laughs> in a in a whole different realm of business. <laughs> Oprah coming next. <laughs> <laughs> Once I establish this as a place of truth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Watch. Watch. <laughs> God's people ain't that few. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, I think this is uh, Club Shay Shay's uh, biggest interview. Biggest interview ever was with Cat Williams. And you know what? Sometimes uh, people need to hear the truth. And uh, speaking on that, Martin Lawrence, uh, where's Bad Boy 4? Or is it Bad Boy 5? Anyway, where's the next bad boy? I think they're supposed to be making it, but did it ever come out? We need that. And uh, what are you speaking about, K1? What are you speaking about? It's true. Like that putting guys in dresses, that that, that became a trend. That's the one thing about um, movies and, and music is once they ever see one successful thing or person do it now they all want to follow the trend uh, you know but anyways I enjoyed this interaction go out and watch the full interview between these guys you're probably gonna enjoy it take care have a good one and I hope you enjoy this